So this is the middle of our four-year budget cycle, but given the economic conditions in Calgary, we decided to do a pretty comprehensive review of the budget going forward this year. And so I believe that citizens and business owners are going to benefit in four broad ways. Number one, significant tax relief. Number two, fee relief in a number of areas. Number three, investments in initiatives targeted at the areas of greatest need. And number four, a brand new way of thinking about our capital budget. So the mid-cycle adjustments bake in $184 million in efficiencies and savings to allow for fee reductions and to freeze the tax rate increase to zero in this year. So homeowners, transit riders, recreation users, business owners will benefit from relief in taxes and fees of approximately $65 million and we found another $37 million to offset revenue shortfalls that we're expecting given the economic conditions. Cities managing our workforce, finding efficiencies, so that this should have very minimal impact on frontline services. Uh, we have corporate funding, savings from operating efficiencies, service reductions, that's six, six, $73 million, excuse me, in cost reductions. But we also want to make sure we're looking after people particularly hard hit by the economic times. And so we are investing. We're not freezing everything. We're investing in increased funding support for community and social programs, for community events, support for affordable housing, and initiatives just to support new and existing businesses. That's $9 million. City remains a great financial position. Our credit rating remains high. We remain cash strong. Um, and we are able, therefore, to move on the tax side a little bit. So the tax rate has the originally uh, anticipated tax rate has gone from 4.7% to 1.5%. And that 1.5%, because we have a little bit of cash in the bank, um, will be given back to all taxpayers in a rebate so that there is a zero tax rate increase if council approves this budget. However, this is very important. There are two things that I should mention here. Number one is remember this is only the municipal portion of the taxes. That's all we have control over. That's about 60% of your property tax bill. 40% or so goes to the province. The province will release their budget probably in February or March and will set their half, well, their 40% of the tax bill at that time. So we don't know what that is going to be. The second is, and this is actually really important for people to understand, while the tax rate is being frozen for the average home, this does not necessarily mean that you will pay the exact same taxes as last year. Because of market value assessment and the way we calculate revenue neutral taxes, if your house goes up or down by exactly the amount of the average house, it means you're the same as last year. It means you will see a 0%. We've seen a decline in assessment based on the residential side of about 4%. So if your house goes down about 4%, you'll pay the same as last year. If your house goes up in value, or if it goes uh, down by less than 4%, you'll pay a little more. If it goes down by more than about 4%, you'll pay a little less. On the residential side, it's not that complicated. Where it does get complicated, uh, and it's important for me to highlight this, is on the non-residential side. And people will see significant changes in their taxes on the non-residential side next year for two reasons. Number one is remember that we are phasing out the business tax. So you're going to pay a lot less in business tax early in the year, but last year we realized a lot of people had forgotten that their business tax went down when their non-commercial property tax bill came in because that's an equalizing, it's a revenue neutral thing. So you'll pay much less in business tax, but you'll pay more in non-residential property tax. The second and more important thing, and we're going to say a lot more about this in the weeks and months to come, but it's important for people to understand this, is that on the non-residential side, we've seen a huge shift in the assessment base. In particular, properties in the downtown core have really lost value in the assessment, and properties outside of the downtown core have stayed steady or increased. Because the overall uh, tax bill is spread out across all businesses, you will actually see bigger changes in the non-residential property tax rate than you will in the residential property tax rate. People in the down, um, to oversimplify, people in the downtown core will see a decrease 
and people outside of the downtown core may see an increase. The average is frozen, it's at zero, but individual businesses likely will not see zero unless they happen to be exactly average. The final thing I want to say is that the uh, capital investment plan will be something that we'll have a very good discussion about uh, over the course of both next week and into the new year. Calgarians have told us very clearly that they want us to keep building, that they want us to keep investing, but that they want to make sure that we're doing so prudently and in areas that will have the highest impact. We've also heard from the other orders of government, from the provincial and federal governments, that they are very interested in continuing to invest in infrastructure and capital growth uh, in the city. So we're going to rethink how we think about our capital project um, and how we spur economic growth and diversification through our capital plan. So I think I'll, that's all I'll say about that this week. We'll have some more details on that. Uh, next week, but I am very interested in continuing that discussion. So finally, I'll just say that next week, starting on Monday at 9.30 a.m. in Council Chambers, we start our budget deliberations. It'll start with me and administration, then we will have an opportunity for the public to be heard. Uh, so if you are interested in coming to Council, you may have five minutes to do so. You must bring 35 copies of anything you want to have distributed. Uh, and then we will go into a detailed presentation of the budgets and business plans, and it will be super fun. So with that, any questions on either the citizen satisfaction or the mid-cycle adjustment? So the, num sorry, the numbers that you're presenting here for the budget adjustment, has anything changed from a few months ago when you guys decided? Uh, you're, getting, you're getting the real numbers now. So a few months ago, Council set the tax rate. Um, at 1.5% minus the rebate, so it attacks freeze. And now what you're actually getting is the numbers to back that up. Um, so administration has gone away and created a budget exactly in accordance with council's direction. There are those that will say you're dipping into the FSR for this 1.5%. Uh, Doesn't that create a danger next year that if there is an increase, that you also have to add on that 1.5%? It sure does. And that is always the danger of these one-time rebates, is that you'll see it again the following year. However, I was comfortable with the 1.5% in recommending that to Council. It comes out to about $18 million. There really has never been a year since I've been Mayor that we have not had a budget surplus of at least that much. And we're cash. We're not cash rich, but we're okay from a cash perspective. And I felt that in these economic times, and Council agreed, it makes sense to share some of that. So yeah, absolutely there's a danger that you're creating what we call a bow wave in the following year, but I'm actually comfortable with the amount. I think that we'll be able to find that in savings in the following year as well. Sure, today, uh, today was actually a really important day on the zero-based reviews. It was a day to declare victory. It's a program that's worked incredibly well. And I think, you know, even better than I had anticipated when we designed it in the first place. So I'm very, very happy. But today was also a day where we saw a very interesting zero-based review in the department that we call Calgary Building Services. It used to be called Inspection and Permit Services. And that's the department that is very uh, customer facing. If you build a deck and you have to go for a building permit or you need an inspection, that's where you go. And the really interesting thing about today's review is that there wasn't a lot of money in there. A couple million bucks, I think it was $4 million in total if memory serves. But what was really interesting is that there was huge process change in there to make it much easier for that citizen who wants to build a deck. And that's also an important part of the zero-based reviews. I really put my foot down when I started the program saying it's about money, it's about money, it's about money. And I kept getting pushback saying it's also about better customer service. And I said as long as that results in money. But now we're at the point where we can actually say, you know what, better, more efficient customer service, you know, to save people time and hours to make them not have to come downtown to apply for a simple permit. Um, so that the information is in the Home Depot and the hardware stores where people go to get information on how to build a deck. This stuff actually makes a huge difference to people's quality of life. And it's a very pleasant uh, outcome of the zero-based reviews that that still occurs. So for example, one of our next uh, 
cross-cutting zero-based reviews is going to be around how we communicate with people. And that's not just customer services and communications, the department at the city, but it is about how we broadly communicate with people. And I hope that process will help us get the right information to the right people at the right time for the right cost, help us to cut out extraneous stuff that's not helpful, but also help people to get the information they need when they need it. So, you know, I, it was never really my plan with the zero-based reviews. I was really focused on the money. But now we're seeing a lot of benefit for people in terms of the services that they receive from the city as well as the money. All right. Thanks, everybody.